Published, 1730 Eastern Standard Time, the 8th of January 2019. Updated, 1739 Eastern Standard Time, the 8th of January 2019. Tottenham Hotspur earned a narrow 1-0 win in the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final against Chelsea at Wembley, even though Chelsea had the Lions' share of possession, it was Harry Kane's penalty, which came about after a lengthy VAR decision, which decided the game. Here, Sports Mills' Chris Sutton takes you through what happened with his big match analysis. Callum Hudson O.D.O.I. proved he's worth the money Bayern want to pay for him, even in defeat the Tottenham and England star also tried some acrobatic attempts during the cup match Hudson O.D.O.I. rewards Sarri's show of faith for a great team like Bayern Munich to be willing to pay £35 million for Callum Hudson O.D.O.I. tells us what a talent he is. His performance against Tottenham, albeit in defeat, told us that too. What impresses me most is that he doesn't show any fear. He has that swagger about him, despite being only 18 years old. He knows when to release the ball, too. He is young and can improve but he is an excellent prospect. He looked Chelsea's biggest threat. The issue for Maurizio Sarri is that a manager is there to win games and he has players at his disposal such as Pedro and Willian. But it is about time Chelsea gave their best youngsters a chance and it was a big show of faith by Sarri to start Hudson O.D.O.I. above, at Wembley. It is about time Chelsea manager Maurizio Sarri gave their best youngsters a chance to play Chelsea and Tottenham's best chance for silverware you could see from the starting lineups that both managers know this is their best chance of winning a trophy this season. Both had to go with strong sides. And it paid off for Tottenham. Neither manager has won a major trophy in his career. It is the age-old problem for Spurs and Mauricio Pochettino, above. No matter how good they are, they need to win one. And now what a chance they have going into the second leg in front. It is important for Sarri, following Antonio Conte who had great success, to land some silverware as soon as possible. That would take the pressure off. He has a job to do now. You could tell from the lineups this is each team's best chance of winning a trophy this season I'm convinced. VAR can't come to the Premier League fast enough I did not like VAR at first, but I am a convert. The penalty incident last night is exactly what VAR has for. It may have taken well over a minute and a half to make the decision, but so what? To be honest, I quite liked the theatre of the decision-making. Ultimately, the officials came to the correct decision and that is everything. Had VAR not been available and Tottenham not been given a penalty, the home side would have been denied their winning goal. That would have felt like an injustice. There are always going to be teething problems. Would we like it quicker? Yes. But this decision wasn't the easiest and the outcome was right. That is what VAR has for. It cannot come into the Premier League quickly enough, VAR became the deciding factor in the match, as it led to Harry Kane's penalty as the only goal nerves of steel from 12 yards if I had a penalty to save my life, there is no one else in the world I would want to take it for me than Harry Kane, I never thought he was going to miss it. What makes him the best from 12 yards is he has a supreme clear head as well as his sublime execution, his mental strength reminds me of Alan Shearer. It is. No surprise that he has scored his last 15 penalties for club and country, Harry Kane was on target from the penalty shot yet again to give Tottenham Hotspur the win.